What's up guys welcome to another episode of cool useful android applications which you should check out in 2021. This episode is featuring about 5 apps which are really simple and I'm sure you're going to love them. All the download links are in the description below. Once you download and use it let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Now without wasting any more time let's get started. The first app is a launcher and this is called Letters Launcher. And as you can see here, it is just a very simple keyboard we have here on the home screen and there is nothing else. To search an application, you just have to tap on the first letter of the application on this keyboard. It instantly shows you the results and you will see all those applications which start from that particular letter which you have keyed in. It is very responsive to the touch. The applications are displayed on a very cool rectangular window which looks amazing. Just press and hold on the home screen to see these four options. You can modify layout, add a widget, wallpaper and we also have more settings. You can tap on the widgets to select any of the widgets which are available on your phone and place them on the home screen if you want them. Then we have got wallpaper options here and when you go to more settings you will see a whole bunch of customization options here. You've got UI alpha, folder animations, letter click animation and we also have an option for show favorite application. When you enable this toggle, you will be able to see the favorite application at the bottom of this keyboard. You can increase or decrease the widget area height and there are a lot more customizable options. You can also make these letters look colorful, increase the size of the letters and you can also change the letters background. There are actually too many customization options to discuss Perhaps you can just download it and check it out yourself and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now before we go to the next application, if you're new on the channel and if you love watching contents on Android applications, Samsung phones, Galaxy smartwatches, consider subscribing and support the channel. Do smash that like button as well. I'm targeting a 10,000 subscribers very soon, so I appreciate your support. Now let's go to the next application. This is called Blur Wallpaper. This is a premium wallpaper application which offers some amazing blurred wallpapers on a very simple intuitive interface. For this premium app, the developer has offered about 15 promo codes. If you are interested in grabbing one of those promo codes, all you need to do is just leave a comment, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and DM me on Facebook or Twitter. I will be sharing the codes over there. All right, now when you open this application, all you see is one blurred wallpaper and nothing else and we also see the options to go to the next wallpaper and save wallpaper option. So when you hit next, it is going to show you the next blurred wallpaper and it keeps rolling. And believe me, this offers some fantastic blurred wallpapers which makes your applications and all the other contents like widgets or anything pop out of your home screen. We don't have an option to directly apply this wallpaper on the home screen. You first have to save it to the gallery and then go to the gallery, open the saved image and apply it on the home screen as wallpaper. And just look at this. These look just fantastic. Go ahead, try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's move on to the next application. This one is a note making application called to do list. Though it's a generic name for this application, it is definitely one of the best out of the lot available out there on Play Store. The interface is very well laid out. On the top, you will see all the notes option, work category, personal category and your wish list. At the bottom, you will see tasks, calendar and your profile and tasks overview which is going to show you your completed tasks and pending tasks and then we have got a chart representation as well which organizes the daily task completion data to understand your efficiency. Just tap on the plus button to add a note. You can just input the new task here and while you input you can select the category you want and you can also select the calendar to select the date and time. And you also have an option to select the subtask here. Just tap on save and it will show up like this on today's task. You can tap on this menu button to see a few more options here. You can upgrade to pro to enjoy some pro features on this app. And then at the bottom you can see we have settings. Here we have some customization options as well. And you can also log into this application and sync it with Google Drive. This enables us to back up the data on Google Drive which is a good feature. We also get to choose some cool themes over here. The whole background will remain in white. I wish there was a dark theme for the entire application. 
uh, we do have some themes which will only change the accent colors here and there is one option which is kind of grayish i would say i wish there was a pitch black option as well this is definitely a useful to-do list application you should consider trying let me know what you think about it in the comment section all right let's move on to the next application this is called remove unwanted object as the name suggests this application helps us in removing the unwanted objects from an image we have seen this feature on samsung galaxy s21 lineup and we have also seen this feature landing on some of the devices running on one ui 3.1 there are actually many third-party applications. I did try a few of the application and I really didn't like any of them. This app here seems to be doing a decent job. As you open the app, it's a very simple interface. We have got gallery, camera, collections and tutorials. If you go to gallery, you can select any images on which you want to remove the objects. Here while selecting the object which you want to remove, it does not auto select when you tap on that particular object on the image like Samsung does. You just have to manually brush the image and select it and go ahead and hit process. And it actually does a decent job and almost at par with Samsung's object eraser feature. Here we also have a couple of other features which I did not find that interesting. So I just ignored it, but this will be useful if you want to erase a particular object on any image. All right then, let's look at the last application. This is called Monk Mode. This application here plays some ambient sounds to boost your concentration and productivity. I know a lot of people may not like using this kind of application, but if you do, you should try this app. We've got some very nice relaxing sounds here. And whenever you're stressed out and not getting sleep, maybe you can just put on your headphones and start listening to these cool sounds. We've got sounds like rain, thunderstorm, forest, wind, water drop, fire, birds, beach, waterfall, etc, etc. There are three different modes available. We've got relax, monk mode, work mode so all these modes offer different variety of sounds which are kind of unique you can just tap on these graphics here to play those sounds you can also play multiple sounds at the same time if you want to combine maybe let's say a thunder and rain or maybe waterfall and bird chirping or let's say wind and fire so uh, these seem to be some good combinations which you can make out of this and listen to it to just relax and concentrate on whatever you want to do or maybe to get some sleep as well it's up to you how you want to use it this is the last application in this episode and i hope you liked all of them if not let me know which application you particularly liked and also let me know why in the comment section below like i mentioned earlier all the download links for these apps are in the description go ahead and download them while you do that make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you find these apps useful that's about it thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe i will see you in the next one cheers bye bye